With this unit you can choose two different welding pants. The split one that requires a foot pedal and the automatic trigger one. And we'll compare them both and see which one does better. I will be using 5.2 amp LiPo with 80C discharge. The menu is very easy to operate. By turning them up to the left or right to scroll through it, by pressing down you choose the option or the value. We're gonna connect the foot pad. We will connect the out here for the prongs. The first test will have this prongs with the foot pad and the second test will do with this uh, prong that engages by uh, pressing. So very important, when you connect the LiPo to the spot welder, make sure you don't touch the prongs, it will spark. First will be 10.15. Let's cut one more strip and test the second 0.15 mil. See how it's gonna look like. Okay. Let's see now. This is 1.5, 0 0.15 strip, and this is solid. This is not coming at all. These are both uh, done with uh, 0 0.15 millimeters, and uh, it is solid weld. It's not going anywhere. If you pull harder, you probably rip. You know the the strip. All right, so that's uh, 0 0.15. Let's try 0 0.20. And this is 0 0.20. Let's cut a piece and see if it works. And this time we'll try with uh, a different uh, pen. Let's connect uh, this pan and see if this one works with uh, 0 0.20. Let's see now if it holds. And this is the maximum 0 0.20. Actually, it holds. Wow. This uh, one right here came off. If you can show this in the camera. But the other three. Oh, okay, so both of them came off. So this came out, and I'm pulling really hard. So if you pull really hard, you can take this off. Um, let's try one more time. And I'll take uh, another cell. Let me cut one more 0 0.20 strip. Let's see what it does now. So I'll try to spot weld on this side with um, 0 0.20 mil. See if it makes any difference, if it holds. Okay. Let's see now. So very nice clean, six uh, welds right here, uh, no burn marks, let me try to see if I can pull this, crap it's not coming, if I go side to side, this one just popped, but the rest, if I pull straight, is not coming out, and I pull really hard, so if you increase the time, let's say 25 maybe, I'm not sure if it's going to damage the cell or not, but um, it's going to definitely uh, stick better and hold better. Let me try to do one weld here over, see what's going to happen. Okay. I 
if I pull hard, I'm gonna tear it apart. I can feel here it's uh, ripping the strip, but it's holding well. So I think at 25 milliseconds, uh, this is gonna do well, and this is 0 0.2. Okay, we're gonna do the last uh, test with 0 0.20 and see if it uh, holds or not. I'll try to bump it to 29.30 and see what are the results. All right. Okay. Looks really good. Let's see if it holds. I heard some noise, like popping, but it's holding. And also this part, this one came out, but the rest are holding pretty, pretty well. I'm not sure why edges are not uh, sticking in, but the rest holds really, really well. I'll try to do the edge one more time. See if it makes any difference. Yeah, now it's stuck. I think I have to uh, press a little harder. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Yeah, 0 0.2 is going to do well. You can increase the time and uh, it will uh, stick to the cell. So here is 0 0.15 and here is 0 0.20. Uh, here I had 5 uh, milliseconds and you can see it's super strong. It's not coming out, uh, but you can barely see the, the marks of the spot weld. And here you have 0 0.20, really thick, and you have 30 milliseconds. So... You can definitely see them more, but it still holds, it's super well connected. So I'll try to do as quickly as possible multiple spot welds and see if these handles are actually getting hot or not. So far, they're not even warm. To trace, try to straighten up here, so straight. All right, let's keep going. All right, so I have 20 cells here. The tips are just warm, and the handles are cold. They didn't heat up at all. I'm trying to go fast, so we'll see how it uh, how it does.
The tips are getting hot. I can hold, yeah, I can hold for like five seconds, five, maybe six, seven seconds. Now I can hold longer, they uh, cool off really fast. Uh, the handle, the prongs are cold. I'm surprised. Uh, other spot welders, you do like five, ten spot welds and they get really hot. You can't hold them, you have to stop to uh, cool them off. The spot welds are really well done, but as you can see, the spot welds are actually very nice. And there's 20 cells, so there's 40 consecutive uh, spot welds, and this thing did not get hot. All right, guys, so I disconnected the battery. Uh, so have any surprises uh, make sure very important when you connect everything you don't touch the prongs because it will spark and freak you out um, the tips let's look at the tips i'll put against the back background so you can see they got a little burned just a little bit you can clean them up before you come on focus before you start your next uh, project several of you emailed me and asked me to open the unit and show you the inside so here it is just be careful after you move the stickers you can't put them back there's a cable that connects to the display, be careful, it's very easy to break it, there's no connector to unplug it, so be careful, so I twist it in a way so I can show you both sides, the MOSFETs with the PCB and the display, and the back of the display. Now, looking at the battery, uh, the spot welds are really clean, look at this, no burn marks, everything looks pristine, I kind of like this. And uh, here are uh, 10S, 2P, so 20 cells. I'm really impressed with the spot welds. No burn marks. I went one after each other. It didn't heat up. Okay, so this is 021. Let's cut a piece and see if this is actually going to stick. All right, let's put it here. And I increased to pulse duration. 35 milliseconds. Let's see if it holds. Okay. We'll do two more. All right. A bit of smoke. Holy crap, it actually is stuck to it. Yeah. It really stuck. A bit of marks. But it holds. It holds really well. I'm impressed. I did not believe this will actually go through, but it did. So I think if you increase the pulse duration to maybe, let's say, 40, um, you can actually do a thicker uh, strip than this. Regarding the pen type, both options works well. I think it's a preference matter. It will take much less space on your shelf versus traditional spot welder. I think the biggest benefit of this uh, spot welder is that you can travel with it. It's very light and small. You can take the cell with you and make the battery when you arrive at your destination. I have used other compact spot welders and after 15, 20 cells, the handles would get so hot, I had to stop in order for the unit to cool off. With this unit, we can spot weld battery packs over 100 cells and keep going. 0.15 millimeters and 0.20 millimeters is the most common thickness of the strips you use in the battery packs in the DIY world. This unit handled extremely well. At 0.15 millimeter strips and 5 millisecond poles, I was not able to pull the nickel strip out unless I would break it. The 0.21 millimeter strips would not stick at 5 milliseconds, but after bumping it up to 35 milliseconds, the welder did what it's supposed to do. I think this little spot welder is a very good, easy to use, and a great addition to your tool collection if you plan to build DIY battery packs. I think if you increase the pulse duration to a higher number, you might be able to spot weld 0.25 or higher thickness strips. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Thank you for checking this unit out, and I'll see you next time.